The following is a production of the University of Minnesota, driven to discover. Well, tell me, what are you studying in college, and do you have some plans for the future? Yes, so I'm currently studying a double degree in civil engineering and science. Uh, I'm currently in my fourth year of that, and when I graduate, I would like to continue on and do my postgraduate study, so a PhD, and hopefully that'll lead on to some academic lecturing and that sort of field. Well, why did you decide to become involved as a study group leader? To be honest, I really wanted to help people to get through uni because I was, for example, the first in my family to go to university. And so I had a few challenges myself that was associated with that and kind of fitting into university and getting on with it. So I really wanted to use my experience from that to help other students and to ensure that students are on the right track and uh, where they want to be with university and that they can flow into the system as seamlessly as possible and make sure that they're really in the right space and they're in the right mindset to stay in the university system. Well, identify what college course are you supporting with your study group and why do you think it's challenging for some students? So I do three courses, um, which are all mathematics-based, but I think the main one I do is second year, first trimester mathematics. That's hard for many reasons, uh, particularly because I have to engage students and it's a bit further advanced in terms of the principles of class. But in terms of the course itself, it's quite hard because it's a really big jump from first year mathematics. So just having that normal foundation isn't really enough to get them through that course and they do require these extra skills and extra critical thinking levels to be able to succeed in that course. Uh, What are one or two of your favorite study session activities that you think are effective in helping students to learn the material? Well, to be honest, there's, um, it's quite a, a difficult course and a lot of the problems span weeks at a time in terms of the content that's taught. So I found that the most effective thing for me was actually just taking one question and spending the full path session working on that one question. Essentially what I'd do is I'd be at the whiteboard and I would write a problem that I'd come up with or take from somewhere on the board. And I'd have students deconstruct that problem into several smaller steps over the course of the session. So it would be incredibly slowed down and at a much slower pace, but it allows students to all get on the same page and develop these kind of patterns that are associated with these questions. So then they're able to use that as a method of developing those critical thinking skills and applying it to more challenging problems that can come afterwards. Wow, that sounds like a sophisticated way to approach that. Where did you get the idea to do that? It was largely from experience. So I remember when I took pass, sometimes I felt like I was rushed in a lot of things and I didn't fully understand a concept, especially deeper concepts that required a lot of higher order thinking skills. I kind of take what I had experience when I was a student uh, attending past sessions and thought, how could I revolutionize this or make it a bit better for students that I'm facilitating? Well, for my final question is based on your experience as a study group leader, how do you think that you've developed personally and professionally from your experience doing that? I think I've developed a lot of skills. Um, Mainly, I think the biggest takeaway I've had is my development in terms of my confidence and my communication skills. So I'm very confident in speaking to large crowds now and even interacting with people on a more personal level. So I've developed a sense of empathy with students. I've also developed a, a sense of how a person's feeling and how to talk with them in a range of different communication mediums. So I can talk professionally or I can talk in a lay domain. So I've just developed a bit of an understanding of how to communicate better and how to interact with people better, which I think is a really important thing as a past leader is how you engage with people and the kind of vibe and atmosphere you give off to the person you're communicating with. Well, thanks for sharing with our audience today, Martin. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it.